हेलो फ्रेंड्स विजन ऑफ रिविजन के करंट अफेयर्स में आप सभी का बहुत बहुत स्वागत है ट्वेंटी अप्रैल 2023 के ये विजन ऑफ रिविजन के करंट अफेयर्स आप सभी को बहुत आपके प्रिपरेशन के दौरान हेल्पफुल रहेंगे ऐसा मेरा मानना है सेकेंडली इसमें कुछ ऐसी रिपोर्ट्स हैं आज के करंट अफेयर्स में ट्वेंटी अप्रैल के जो कि आपकी प्रपरेशन के दौरान आपको हेल्पफुल रहेंगे क्योंकि उसमें से क्वेश्चंस बनने की संभावना बहुत ज़्यादा है फ्रेंड्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस करंट अफेयर द वेरी फर्स्ट रिपोर्ट फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी अप्रैल करंट अफेयर्स मेलकॉम अधिशेष अवार्ड 2023 उत्सव पटनायक अ रिनाउंड इकोनॉमिस्ट ऑफ नेशनल एंड इंटरनेशनल रिप्यूट हैज बीन सेलेक्टेड फॉर द मेलकम अधिशेषिया अवार्ड टू Malcolm Adishesha Award 2023 is given every year by the Malcolm and Elizabeth Adishesha Trust. It is one of the most prestigious national awards in India. It recognizes and honors the outstanding contributions of social scientists to the field of development studies. The award includes a citation and prize money of rupees 2 lakh. The Malcolm Adishesha Award or distinguished contributions to development studies carries a cash reward of rupees 1 lakh and a citation malcom satyanthan satyanan yananthan adishesha 1910 to 1994 was an indian development economist and an educator in 1976 he was awarded the padma bhushan Farm Distress Index the very next report Farm Distress Index reported farm distress in different parts of the country Farm Distress Index is developed by Central Research Institute for Dryland Agriculture CRIDA is an institute under the Indian Council of Agricultural Research It was established in 1985 headquarters is located in Hyderabad It is constituent organization of the Indian Council of Agricultural Research ICAR an autonomous body of the Ministry of Agriculture Government of India It is part of the National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development funded project on farmers distress and Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana Farm Distress Index is an early warning system based on a 21 question survey that captures the financial economic and emotional health status of farmers in vulnerable areas the index can sense imminent distress at least 3 to 4 months ahead of its actual occurrence this index can be used by policy makers and the government to plan and design a timely targeted method of supporting distressed farmers farm distress continues to be reported from different parts of country left unintended left unattended the distress can lead to suicides by farmers wto panel rules against india the very next report world trade organization panel has ruled that india has violated global trading rules by imposing import duties on it products such as mobile phones and components and integrated circuits india has introduced import duties of between 7.5% and 20% for IT products mobiles computer com- mobile components and ICs in 2019 the european union japan and taiwan filed complaints with the world trade organization arguing that india's import duties violated global trading rules and exceeded the maximum rate allowed wto recommendations the, the WTO panel recommended that India should bring the measures into conformity with its obligations. India has already brought some of the challenge dr- challenge tariffs to into the line with global trading rules since last year. If fine, if India appeals the ruling, the case will remain in legal limbo since the WTO's top appeals bench is not functioning due to the us opposition to judge appointments wto dispute settlement system 
are two main ways to settle a dispute once a complaint has been filed in WTO mutually agreed solution and through adjudic adjudication through the implementation of the panel legally binding. Sangathan Se Samridhi, the very next report. Minister, Ministry of Rural De Developments, Deen Tayal Antyodhyaya, Antyodhyaya, Antyodhyaya Yojana National Rural Livelihoods Mission launched Sangathan Se Samridhi, Living on Rural Women Behind. Leaving No R Rural Women Behind. Campaigning is a national campaigning under Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsav Samaveshi Vikas. Aim is to mobilize 10 crore women from vulnerable and marginalized rural households under the self-help group fold. Currently, 9 crore women already part of this SHG movement. Benefits is sharing by SHG champions mobilizing eligible women, training new SHG members, reviving defunct SHGs and opening SHG bank accounts. SHGs are small informal groups of 10 to 20 individuals, mostly women from similar economic and social backgrounds who come together to form a group for mutual support and help. SHGs encourage members to save regularly and these savings are then pulled to provide loans to members for various purposes such as starting a small business, paying for their children's education or medical expenses, etc. World Heritage Day 2023 The very next report. The International Council on Monuments and Sites declared 18th of April as the International Day for Monuments and Sites, also known as World Heritage Day in 1982. The theme for this year is Heritage Changes, which focuses on the role of cultural heritage in climate action and its importance in protecting vulnerable communities. India is currently home to 40 UNESCO World Heritage Sites, making it the country with the sixth largest number of sites in the world. Out of these, 32 are cultural sites, 7 are natural sites, and one is a mixed type site, the Kanchenzonga National Park. The cultural heritage sites in India include ancient temples, forts, palaces, mosques, and archaeological sites that reflect the rich history and diversity of the country. The natural heritage sites in India include national parks, wildlife reserves, and natural landscapes that showcase the country's unique biodiversity and ecological significance. The mixed-type site in India, the Kanchenjunga National Park, is known for its cultural significance as well as its biodiversity as it is home to several rare and endangered species. Kudre Mukh Range The very next report. Kudre Mukh Rwaran or Company Limited recently sought post facto approval for submerging 700 acres of forest in Kudre Mukh Range at the heart of Western Ghats around 20 years ago. Kudre Mukh Range is located in the Western Ghats in Chikmagalore district of Karnataka. These broad hills overlook the Arabian Sea and are connected by deep valleys and sharp cliffs. It is also known as the Horse Face Range. The literal meaning of Kuder Muk is incarnate is horse faced. It got its name from its main peak, Kuder Muk Peak, 1892 meters, which has a marked similarity to face of a horse. Kuder Muk National Park, the second largest wildlife protected area in the Western Ghats, is located in these region ranges. It is believed that Kudre Muk served as a landmark for sailors on the western coast for over 2000 years. Kudre Muk National Park It is spread across 600.57 square kilometer in the Chikamangaluru and Dakshina Kannar districts of Karnataka. Dense forest cover primarily consists of semi evergreen and evergreen trees. Rare flora on the edge of extinction such as 
nilambur cobra lily and southern indian jewel orchid can be found here in addition there are many trees including eucalyptus acacia silcox cassiopeias and others it houses a variety of wildlife such as leopard malabar giant squirrel sloth bear gore sambar jackal mongoose tiger wild dog common langur etc it is home to variety of birds such as malabar chegon malabar whistling thrush and imperial pigeon t l yos 2 is ro the indian space research organization will soon launch singapore's t t e l e o s 2 satellite from the satish dhawan space center in shri hari kota using the polar satellite launch vehicle telos 2 is a singaporean earth observation satellite built by st electronic satellite systems it is designed to capture satellite imagery in all weather and round the clock conditions the 750 kg satellite will be launched into a low earth orbit it carries a made in singapore synthetic operator radar capable of providing 1 meter resolution data it will be equipped with a 500 gb on board recorded for recording the data captured and a high speed 800 mbps downlink it will provide high resolution imagery for various applications such as disaster management resource monitoring and environmental monitoring polar satellite launch vehicle it is an indigenously developed expandable launch system of the isro it comes in the category of medium lift launchers with a reach up to various orbits including the geo sinaris transfer orbit lower earth orbit and polar sun sirenus orbit it has a four stage system comprising a combination of solid and liquid fuel rocket stages marketing and logistics development for promotion of tribal products from northeastern region scheme the very next report ptp nr scheme has been introduced for the benefit of scheduled tribes of the northeastern region vision is to strengthen livelihood opportunities for tribal artisans through increased efficiency in procurement logistics and marketing of tribal products from northeastern states it will apply to the states of arunachal pradesh assam manipur meghalaya mizoram nagaland tripura and sikkim as part of this scheme it is planned to initiate the empanelment of tribal artisans from the northeastern region by organizing 68 tribal artisans millers in various districts of the region the tms will be organized in consultation and support of district administration and other relevant organization departments working in the field etc the program also includes regular design and skill development training sessions tailored to the needs of the market for tribal recipients northeastern handicrafts and handlooms development corporation india post under the department of post and other northeastern state government departments agencies india post will provide logistics support in order to meet the scheme's goals city nature challenge the very next report over 30 indian cities cities over 30 indian cities are set to participate in the city nature challenge an app based competition that records observation of nature as shown above picture under this initiative participants can use the i naturalist app available for android and apple phones to click and upload a photo of natural flora and fauna the app uses artificial intelligence here to suggest the species name community members will collaborate to confirm these suggestions GPS coordinates for the observation are picked up automatically from the image data. Once an observation is confirmed, it becomes available to scientists and researchers who can use this data to research different planet and animal species or determine the biodiversity in a region. The Bombay Natural History Society, World Wide Fund for Nature, India and the Naturalist School have partnered to lead this event. The event was first originated in the United States in 
by the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles Country and San Francisco's California Academy of Sciences. Limited Purpose Clearing Corporation The very next report. The Securities and Exchange Board of India put in a place of dispute resolution mechanism for Limited Purpose Clearing Corporation to settle disputes and claims arising out of transactions cleared by it. It is an entity established to undertake the activity of clearing settlement of rapport transactions. The mechanism will be used to settle disputes between clearing members, contention between the clearing members and their clients, differences between the LPCC and its vendors, disputes between clearing members or its clients and the LPCC. The disputes arising between clearing members of the LPCC will be settled by reconciliation and or by an arbitration panel consisting of three clearing members other than the clearing members who are party at to the dispute. The decision of the arbitration panel would be final and binding on the parties. In case a clearing member of or the LPCC is not satisfied, then the disputes would be resolved under the procedure laid down in the Payment and Settlement System Act 2007. National Panchayat Awards, the very next report, Panchayati Raj, leading to the National Panchayati Raj Day celebrations on 24th of April 2023, Ministry of Panchayati Raj is organizing the National Panchayati Raj Awards celebration week 17th to 21st April 2023, under which National Conference on Themes 2, 4 and 5, Healthy Panchayat, Water Sufficient Panchayat and Clean and Green Panchayat is scheduled to be held in New Delhi. Under the National Panchayat Awards 2023, Gopthampur Gram Panchayat, Dilangana for Healthy Panchayat, Nelutla Gram Panchayat for Water Sufficient Panchayat and Kundal Gram Panchayat, Maharashtra for Clean and Green Panchayat have secured the first position. Under the Healthy Village theme, Panchayats need to ensure healthy lives and well-being for all through health checkup. 100% 100% immunization, institutional delivery, nutrition and early child care through ICDs, etc. Under the water sufficient village panchayats need to ensure access to portable water facilities to every household, grey water treatment and purification, address groundwater depletion, arsenic contamination, rainwater harvesting and groundwater recharge, etc. Under the clean and green village, Panchayats aim for 100% ODF villages, solid and liquid waste management, shift to renewable source of energy, enhanced green cover, conservation of biodiversity, etc. The National Panchayat Awards. It honors the best performing panchayats, local self-government bodies across the country by assessing their performance in attainment of SDGs. The awards were first instituted in 2011 and have seen and have since been held every year. This is all about 20th April 2003 Current Affairs, my dear friends. And with this, I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel as more as possible. Thank you. Have a blessed day.